print the calendar, just come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage down to Print, or you can use the shortcut keys Control P. The default style is Month, and you can see it's for March. Go ahead and click on it to zoom in, and what you see here is the actual size of what's going to be coming out of your printer. So let's go ahead and it's pretty legible. Let me click on it to zoom out. And if I don't want March, I want, let's say, April through May, then come over here and click on the print options, and you can see down below the print range. Choose a start date. You can type it in, but I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and go over to April 1st, and then the end date will be the end of May, so I can get all of May included. There you go. Click on Preview, and do I get both months? There's April. Click Next. There's May. Cool. Success. And you do have other styles you can look at. Let me click on the Trifold, see what that's about. It's divided into three sections. Let me click on it to zoom in. The first section is the day of February the 25th. It's a Sunday. Scroll over. Tasks that are due that day. I got nothing. Whew, that was a close one. And then the week. And for the week, we had a potluck. Oh, that was fun. And that's the week of the 25th through March the 3rd. So if I come down here and I advance to the next page, it's going to be February the 26th. So the first page was the 25th, the 26th. And if you don't want to print off all these pages, maybe just, well, the first five. Let's see if I go to page five, type it in, hit enter. That's March the 1st. So let's go ahead and include the last few days of February and March the 1st. So that's the first five pages. Come over here and click on the print options, and there you go. You see where it says if you want to choose what pages you want to print. Go ahead and select it, and then type in we want 1 through 5. Or if you want to skip a page, like page 2, just go 1 comma, and then 3 through 5. And of course, you can set up your print range down below. I'm going to come up here, click on the page setup. And the trifold, again, has three sections. The left section is the daily calendar, and then the middle section, then the right section. You can click on the drop-down arrows and choose whatever else you want to include in there. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. And up here, print this calendar. Well, you can create additional calendars, and we talked about that in an earlier training video, that you got to create additional folders for that calendar view. And when you do, you'll get the option to print those other calendars. So be mindful of that if you have additional calendars and you don't want to print the default one. Click on the drop down arrow and choose the other one, whatever name you gave it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.